Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into New World and the top five beginner tips for New World as we are in this closed beta. So tip number one, if you plan on crafting, save everything. There are massive taxes on buying and selling at the market, and there's nothing better than going to the town project board to find out you already own exactly what is needed. So the first thing we're going to take a look at today is going to this trading post and kind of showing you how taxes work and how expensive they can really get. So the first thing we're going to do is go to weapons, we're going to go to two-handed weapons, and let's go to price. Let's see what the most expensive is there. Uh, 2,500 gold for this iron musket. Definitely overpriced. However, if we bought it, it would actually have a 118.74 gold fee. That is taxes. And you can actually hover over the question mark to see exactly what that fee is. So you are buying a large, large fee here and a total of 2,618.74 if we did decide to buy this. And I will say, guys, there's great ways to avoid this. And like I said, that is making making sure to hold on to everything you gather because you may need to buy those later on for like I said town projects or even crafting if you decide to craft later on so what I do specifically is have one spot that I store most of my things and that is Everfall here you can see my storage shed in Everfall currently having a lot of random weapons and apparel but I also have my leather working including skins or sorry not skins but uh, hides and we see that here we have, we have a little bit of hides here and uh, you know some random alchemy a lot of random cooking and uh, just fishing craft mods whatever else I just store all in this shed and I have begin to put more territory standing in storage so we could actually take a look here if we go to territory standing and go to Everfall I would always suggest getting some storage in your area that you plan on storing everything so Everfall has more kind of like a centralized area in New World. So therefore, I do keep all my stuff here and I have a storage of increased by 50 uh, exactly. So that is definitely something I do specifically. And I just want to say, making sure to you know take advantage of gathering yourself and not actually going to the market and buying this stuff later on for insane taxes. And then also when you sell, if we tried to sell something right now, you could go to, let's say we want to sell Animal Eye and we want to place a sell order. We'll place a sell order for all eight. If I wanted to place a sell order for all eight, uh, we'd have a 426 listing fee, which is just crazy because the listing price is only 99 cents or 99, I guess, coins or 99 gold, uh, 0.99 gold. So if we place that, we can actually see I placed a sell order for Animal Eye, but you are losing a lot out there when you do this because, like I said, there is high taxes. Number two, take advantage of fast traveling. So this is a big, big one. So a lot of people have been running around complaining about mounts, needing mounts because the game has too much running. I will say with fast traveling, you really don't need mounts. So uh, use the newworldfans.com slash map to find out where all spirit shrines are at and discover them when you're really you are in a convenient spot to discover them. So if you're doing a quest nearby where a spirit shrine may be, definitely, like I said, walk over to that spirit shrine, discover it. It'll be very, very helpful in the near future. So if you go to mine, specifically my map, you can see that there is a spirit shrine at the top of Brightwood and at the bottom of Brightwood. I have both of them discovered, so I can travel there anytime very, very easily and quickly. Weaver's Fence, same deal. I have one at the top, one at the bottom. We have Everfall at the top left. We have, uh, you know, the main story quest that a lot of you guys should have this spirit shrine. I believe it's part of the quest now where you get this spirit shrine definitely a great opportunity to take advantage of these um, across the obviously map and i will say you can get these locations of the spirit shrines on new world maps or sorry new world fans.com slash map and i do want to say as well make sure to understand that when fast traveling your weight does matter you should always store what you don't need to bring with you before traveling to save on uh you know those azoth uh special azoth coins that you really need a lot of i'm not sure why i'm calling them azoth coins but azoth in general you need to save up azoth for a lot of different reasons obviously fast traveling one of the major ones if you have weight on you it does count against you let's say i'm in everfall right now and i want to te teleport all the way to the top of brightwood I can actually hover over and see exactly what the fast travel cost is. So base cost 50, distance cost 25, encumbrance cost 48, and then that faction control discounts minus 56. But you are seeing encumbrance cost right there with 48. So if you do have a lot of weight on you, I have 121.8, which is a little bit more than I would be willing to travel with. I would probably shove a lot of this stuff, definitely the leather working, back into uh, my storage before actually teleporting. And if I do that, let's actually throw some of this stuff in there. And I always throw my cooking back in there as well. Uh, let's see what it is now. So if we go to the map, we go to the top, we are still seeing uh, a 60 Azoth cost now instead to the top of Brightwood. So definitely does come into play quite a bit there in a way to save Azoth. Make sure to make sure you're uh, storing all your stuff before teleporting. 
Tip number three, take advantage of recalling to the in and recalling to house. So this is a way to save on ads off as well. You should always try to utilize these when you have a lot of weight on your character. When you recall to your house is on cooldown, it is more efficient if you have a lot of weight to just refresh it with Azoth than traveling to the settlement. So let's take a quick look here what I'm talking about. Let's say I'm out Neverfall, uh, you know, over here. For some reason I'm over here just gathering as much as I possibly can. I have a ton of weight on me and I want to come back to Everfall. And I don't really want to walk. Mine as well save some time, right? So I go to Everfall and I see that there is a recall to house. However, I have to pay 39 Azoth to reset the cooldown because I just used it. It looks like 40 minutes ago because you get one every three hours. So if I want to reset the cooldown, it's only 39 Azoth. That is definitely a great way to take advantage of fast traveling, um, you know, with I guess let, another thing, let's say we are by a spirit shrine. So I could use a spirit shrine and use, let's say I'm up here actually, and say that I have, you know, right by the spirit shrine, I could just fast travel right on back using Azoth. Um, you know, it would probably cost a lot, lot more if I had weight on me, like I said, a ton of hide or a ton of fiber, whatever I've been, you know, collecting or gathering. So make sure to just, like I said, reset that cooldown on the house and then fast travel or recall to the house using that uh you know house that you have obviously giving you a great opportunity to really not make because weight does not matter obviously when you're recalling using a house or recalling using an inn so definitely take advantage of that when you have a lot of weight on you and i just want to say realistically you know you are going to use this house and in travel quite a bit so definitely keep it on cooldown as much as possible to take advantage and save on azoth tip number three take advantage of recalling uh to in is now complete let's jump into tip number four questing and leveling so when questing and leveling make sure to grab everything in the settlement you are in grab all faction quests side quests and town project quests to ensure a fast leveling experience when doing your main quest giving you things to do on the way to complete that main quest this will save you from getting in that spot of being asked to level up to continue the main quest line so there's been times where i've been asked to level up and uh you know past uh i guess really past uh new world alphas closed betas whatever else and i wanted to say you know realistically you should always try to get a nice circle so always pick up all the faction quests all of the quests in general so you can see right now my main quest is down in cutlass keys if i went to cutlass keys right now i do have a perfect circle because i picked up a lot of quests and i will continue to pick up quests during if they are in that path so right here you can see if i travel to cutlass keys it's only 37 by the way because it's my territory uh or i guess I, our faction's territory a syndicate and then i also have like i said i would go to probably four i'd go to three i'd go to five i'd pick up the quest at treasure island i turn in the snaggle tooth and then i would go to marauder support and pick up another one who told the bells there and then one and then two and then i'd finally possibly travel back to cutlass keys and uh, turn all of this stuff in at once it saves a lot of time definitely using and utilizing them side quests as well as town project quests and uh, you know obviously um, syndicate quests as well obviously um, you know faction quests i should say as well so use all of that make sure to uh, you know if stuff's on the way take advantage of it because you're going to later on need to do those side quests and faction quests because there is going to be points where it says you have to be level 30 to continue the main quest so like i said make sure to do it while you're walking beside it and then number five tip number five we have take advantage of camps when you are questing and definitely if you are pvping make sure to make a tent and take advantage of the respawn point you can level up your tent and take advantage of crafting at higher tiers than some towns even so some towns obviously have tier two workstations or you know kitchens still and you can actually have you know a tier three camp like this one right here in front of us um, so we can actually set our recall to this camp so if i die uh, let's say i'm pvping just for fun and i end up dying I'll have a better respawn point here with this camp. Uh, so that's definitely one thing to note. And then you can also rest at the camp and it'll actually heal you over time. Uh, not many people use that too often, but you can also craft here. So if you have, you know, your supplies on you, I can make light meals right now um, from this tier three camp. And if Everfall has a tier two camp because it's been downgraded because of an invasion or it's just not tier three yet, I could still craft that tier three, uh, really that tier three um you know, food. So definitely take advantage of that as well. I think, you know, a lot of people aren't using camps as much as they should be. It's definitely a great way to have a respawn in case you die from hard PVE content or even PVP. So those are just my top five beginner tips for you guys for New World MMO. Obviously, a lot of things to really jump into today um, regarding these tips. But, you know, I do want to take a look at one more thing in town because I've talked about this before. The only thing is right now, I did just recently grab it because I actually did a video before this, by the way, on this top five beginner tips. However, guess what? The entire thing had a black screen, so you guys couldn't really see anything. So I re decided to redo the video. But here you actually are able to 
you know, grab hide for free. Uh, when I grabbed it in the video, I got 33 hide and like 17 tanning, I believe. Um, then you can grab water from the well, and you can also grab honey from this honey, uh, little honey thing over here. I'm not sure what, you know, what the exact terminology is. I can't think of it right now, but you can actually grab from all three of these. And definitely if you are in the syndicate faction, you can take advantage, like I said, of that hide. You are not able to actually take advantage, unfortunately, if you are not in syndicate because syndicate owns Everfall right now in this exact server. So make sure you are that, uh, you know, the, I guess the, you know, the faction that owns that territory at the moment and if you are take advantage of these because if you go up to i think bridge watch or bridgewood uh you can actually take advantage of a lumber cart so there's a lot of different advantages around the uh you know around eternum as you grow you are going to understand and learn a little bit more but i just want to give you guys my top five tips for you guys and like i said make sure to utilize newworldfans.com slash map i think it's one of the best ways to uh at least for beginners to understand the map a little bit better and also find different things they're looking for uh when it comes to gathering or whatever else spirit shrines and other things so Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I'll see you guys all in New World.